Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how you doing? It's Big P here, you know don't you, you know the voice of hardcore boxing, of course. Right, straight into business, no messing about. There's a strong rumour going around the boxing community that Dillian Y, aka the body snatcher, aka fat as a pig Michelin man, Dillian White motorhome, Dillian White's motorhome that he's living in is bugged. That's the, that, that's the word do, do, doing, the, doing the rounds. That's the word doing the rounds at the moment. Dillian White's motorhome is bugged by Vladimir Putin. This is the word doing the rounds. Who put that rumour out? I don't know. Probably Eddie Hearn. But... I've, I've been told they're getting his motorhome sweeped for bugs. So, so this week, so far, we've heard that Dillian White's going to kick it off at a presser or a weigh-in, he hadn't decided. We've heard Dave Caldwell's coming on board, good old Dave Caldwell, who were ringing up Dillian White just a little bit more than a year ago and sort of getting his feet under the table. I think he did the same thing with Chisora, didn't he? when he had him spar bell you and that's how Dave works isn't it but sneaky rats like Dave Cowell that's how they work isn't it you know what I mean your fighter is not safe when Dave Cowell rings him for sparring you must go with your fighter if you don't believe me ask Don Charles ask Mark Tibbs so Dave Cowell snuck in he's in corner so if Dillian gets beat it'll be because his trainer's inexperienced and he should have had Dave Caldwell. And if he wins, it's because he had Dave Caldwell in corner. So it's a win-win for Penfold. But getting back to the bugging rumour, I don't believe it, but I'm only telling you what the word is on, around the campfire, on the grapevine. Dillian White's motorhome, Winnie Begogo or Winnie Peg or whatever it's called, motorhome, parked outside that hotel, is bugged and the reason he's in the motorhome is because if Dillian bumps into Povetkin in the hotel he's gonna kick it off so he wants a motorhome he's like a big star isn't he Dillian White the man who's won a vacant British title not fought for a European not fought for a world title and he's heading into his fifth pay-per-view on Saturday and you the muggy fans are gonna pay 20 pound for this all right 20 pound for this that's what I want to say about Sky Sports charging £20 for this. Is this where we're heading? Where is Dillian White going to be on Saturday after he, after he wins against Povetkin? If he wins, where's he going to be? He's still not going to have a belt and he's still going to be six months away from another fight. So we're going to be going into 2021 and Dillian White still only won a British title. And he's, had, and he's looking for his sixth pay-per-view. And he's still not got a European title shot or a world title shot. Is this where boxing's heading? Is this where we're heading here? Eh? Fighting 41-year-old drug cheats. 41-year-old eh? Povetkin, a couple of weeks after Dillian fight. Drug cheat, is it two or three times? They keep digging him up, don't they? Because he's got Russian TV. It is astronomical what's going on. But who cares? Well, I care because I'm doing this video. But Dillian White's motor arms bugged. We've got Dave Colwell in the corner. The narrative is being wrote. Or could it be that Dillian White, squeaky bum. He's got a squeaky bum in fight week. He's already fat as a pig Michelin man. Squeaky bum in fight week. So he's had to bring Colwell on to steady the ship because he might not have faith in his new trainer. I don't know. But it's all exciting, isn't it? Because the scripts are being written by Matchroom and can you imagine the meeting at Matchroom now? They're going to get Macklin, Bellew, Nelson and uh, Anna Woolhouse. They're all going to be learning the lines, aren't they? So, I wonder if Carl Frotch will be working pay-per-view. We've not seen him for a bit, have we? That's interesting, isn't it? Carl Froch, you know, a, a man with a CV like his, is he going to be down there this weekend? I don't know, but the Sky Punditry is now off the charts. 
but like I said, the latest rumour about Dillian White's motorhome being bugged. I don't believe it, but I don't know. We all this collusion and espionage. God, Eddie, 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 and he'll be rolling in it like a dog, won't he? Hey, he'll be rolling in it like a dog while they're sweeping that motorhome. They might even have to sweep Pavetkins. I don't know, but. I can't see there being any fake, any uh, intense beef. It's probably fake beef because Pavetkin and Dillian get on, don't they? So why would all of a sudden there be intense beef for raw beef? I don't know, and I don't care. Do I care that Caldwell's trying to sneak in there? Well, no, because that's what that's what he's about, isn't it? He's had a taste at Bellu pay-per-view money. You know, he's going to want a taste at White pay-per-view money now, isn't it? And that's just how it is, isn't it? That's just how it is. You've got to play the game. If you had his little favourite, you know what I mean? You're going to get work all the time, aren't you? So, all right. So, peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep supporting boxing. Don't have club nightmares.